Hey, welcome to Afghanistan. I'm uh, from Afghanistan. No Kabul. Bamiya. Bamiya. Oh. I don't know how you do it. I'm worried. It's just one dollar. If you were to say one thing about Afghanistan for people watching this video, yeah. what would you say for people to visit? Or... I think. Uh... I'm going to be spending a week in Afghanistan, exploring the culture, meeting people, and hopefully gaining a new perspective. Good morning and welcome back to another day, to another episode in Afghanistan. We're in Kabul, but we're living today. We're driving four hours away to a place called Bamiyan. Obviously in Kabul and Kandahar, the two largest cities in Afghanistan, people feel busier just like any other city in the world. But these places are much smaller, so I want to see how people live in those places and how is daily life for them in smaller places far away from the capital. So maybe a quick thing that I haven't mentioned before, but in the hotel that we are right now, this is like a fortress. A lot of security checkpoints before entering the hotel, once you you are in the hotel a bunch of controls as well like as if you were in the airport and then you're good to go i understand this is for more protection and, and just to take care of all the guests anyway let's go and start exploring the other side of afghanistan I've seen traffic for sure but driving like this it's, it's next level Flat tire, very challenging to drive here, so it's all zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. But we fixed it, good to go. came to check in because it started to rain badly. The view from this hotel is stunning. Look at this. excited to explore this side of Afghanistan. This is a restaurant. I don't know what kind of restaurant we are right now, but it looks literally like a house. All right, welcome back to Bamiya. We have the rainbow, the mountains, the valley. This is one of the places that are very important in the Afghanistan history. Not too far away from here, there used to be two massive Buddha statues. And in 2001, unfortunately, due to internal conflicts, those were destroyed. There's a plan in place, or at least an initiative in place, to rebuild them at some point. But obviously at the moment, there's other necessities like food and, and medicines and this kind of thing. So, Definitely it's not a priority, but uh, they're still kind of protecting the place right now because this is a historical site. So overall, my first impression of Bamia has been incredibly positive. This is not going to be just showing you the nature, but we're going to talk to people, push the limits to document as much as I can and share this with you. Good morning and welcome back to another day in Bamiyan, in Afghanistan. Just to talk about the Buddhist statues, there's a site that used to have two massive statues and those are no longer there. Okay, so today we're visiting that place, we're gonna get a closer look. We're going to those caves and see the old paintings because it's believed that the first old painting came from this area. And honestly, me too, we're gonna pass through different Hazara villages because that's the main ethnicity here. They speak Dari and one of the Hazara dialects of Persian. Later in the day, we're going to the bazaar, we're going to the market. So that's gonna be very exciting. I wanna see the contrast between the bazaars that we explored already in Kabul, Kandahar, and now. Anyway, the day is going to be very packed, very busy. I will change, I will put the local clothes. And yeah, ready to go. So the story about this site is that uh, there were two giant Buddhist statues carved into one side of the cliff and they were untouched. A lot of kingdoms tried to destroy it and they couldn't. But in 2001, unfortunately due to some internal conflict, 
the Taliban destroyed those statues. Right now they're trying to reconstruct those. Hopefully they can do it in the in the near future, but obviously first there's other necessities and other priorities in the country. Even though the statues are no longer here, people still respect this place and come and pray. So you see all these sandstones over here? This came out from the explosion in 2001. And till these days, they're so heavy and they just don't know how to put them back. They need new technology, funding and all this kind of stuff. But yeah, it's super heavy everything and massive, some of those ones. Okay, another important thing is that in this area, apparently they had the first oil painting in history. If you think this oil painting thing started in the European Renaissance area, rethink it because everything started here really. Mislihami <laughs> In Zahmeko Okabat Darmon Begide. Bishar Kurish. Offering. Bishar Loyat has them. Tom Hoop Hondi, Tom Hoop Hondi, Tom Hoop Hondi. What is this song about? This song is about uh, uh, we have a prophet uh, called Mahdi, and this is like Islamic uh, share. And it's where normally they, they, they have it in schools, and she practices it very well, mm -hmm. and she can pronounce it very well. She is very intelligent, and this age, she can you know, you know read all. And what language is this? It's Dari. Dari. Yes. Okay. All right. So, this is a second Buddha. This one is actually open for people to go up. There's some stairs. This is crazy, right? I don't know how you do it. I'm already exhausted. How are you? All good? You from here, Afghanistan? Nice to meet you. You're from Bamiyan. Bamiyan. I'm uh, from Afghanistan, province of Maidan Wardak. And also, uh, I'm here in this uh, province, Bamiyan. Uh, this your friends, Bamiyan. family? Yeah. This all of my friends. We all friends. We are coming for picnic. You're coming uh, for today. Picnic. Today is Friday. Some people's. This is. It's also. They are also. Uh, I'm in. Uh, uh, this is. Uh, Din, Din Muhammad is name, is and is a mechanic of motorcycle. Oh wow! Uh, Sami John is also mechanic of motorcycle. Every is uh, 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 Afghanistan motorcycle pro. Uh, uh, everyone is kind of mechanic. Mechanic, yeah. Everyone yeah. is mechanic and also sport. Uh, sport driving motorcycle. Fedrosu. Oh, you also ride? Federation, yes. Oh, nice. Yeah, everyone was the best one in, in uh, motorcycle. Today we come, some people, some my friends is coming to buy motorcycle, but we are, we are coming by uh, cars. By cars? Yes. How far, how far you live from here? How far? I think uh, just uh, to uh, evening. Uh, no, no. Tonight I'm here, but after tonight I will go to my Oh. My Kabul province. Okay, so you are not far from here and you stay till tonight and then you go back home? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Just today we come to, uh, yeah. for picnic. Uh, okay. Just uh, tomorrow is uh, not holiday yeah. in Afghanistan. Yeah. Tomorrow is work day. Yeah. But we come, I'm shopkeeper in Af uh, Kabul. Charay yeah. Sidarat. Sidarat Square. Do you travel a lot in Afghanistan? Do you know a lot of provinces? Yeah. Some provinces I will uh, go. Kunar, Nuristan, uh, Ningarhar. It's Kandahar, Paktia, 
Paktia promises a Zazi, Zazi Park is beautiful. I was in Kandahar, that's quite beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> my style is like Kandahar, yeah. Nice. And may, maybe but one last question. This also yeah. is for style of Kandahar. My clothes is also from... I bought one of those ones. Yes, Kandahar. yes, Kandahar. But one. your clothes is like uh, Panjshir province, yeah. but like Kunar province. Yeah. But I have one like yours, I have it on, on the car. Okay, uh, you bought from Kandahar. In Kandahar, in Kandahar is beautiful yes. and the best one. Best yeah. quality, best... Uh, yeah. And also fine in Kabul. Maybe one last question. If you, if you were to say one thing about Afghanistan for people watching this video, yeah. What would you say for people to visit? Or I think, uh, yeah, Afghanistan pre uh, people is it's a normal people. It's uh, uh, have a, um, some uh, mechanics, uh, some uh, some a lot of people in Afghanistan is in. Uh, uh, I I forgot some words. Sorry, uh, got, the, in, people. In, in a lot a lot of some people is normals in in Afghanistan. So would you rec you recommend tourists to come and visit Afghanistan? Yeah, yeah. Thank you so I much. Think, huh? thank, you. Uh, thank you so you much. Huh? You can stop every two, three meters and take a photo. This is fantastic. The local people were telling me that there's less tourists these days just because there's not a lot to see, like a lot. I mean, obviously there's a lot because it's a historical site and it's very important, but the Buddha statues are not here anymore. So there's less tourism and less income, obviously less hotels, restaurants, taxis, things in operation. So I really hope at some point they put a proper project to restart building all this stuff. But they also understand, right? Like there's other necessities, food, medicines and things like that. So I respect that as well. But yeah, that's a little bit the story of this place. 10 out of 10, absolutely incredible. Incredible, incredible historical site. I mean, the one thing I love about this place is that it's not crowded at all and it's less than four dollars per person. Think about places like the Coliseum in Italy, you pay like 40 euros or something like that. Massive queues and all this stuff. This place is so raw. Definitely more people should visit this area. One of the best historical sites I've ever seen, to be honest. This is a one dollar haircut and uh, clean up my face and everything. Everything is for one dollar here, but uh, he's not gonna touch my hair, but he's gonna clean up my face, right? Just, just, just here, just here, okay? This, no, just here, Say. all, all, all. Okay. I'm worried, it's just one dollar. <laughs> What's your name? They have the American flag in Afghanistan. I guess you're going to have some soap now and then that's it, we start, we're done. It's actually very comfortable. I also need to think that you don't normally shave in Afghanistan. How strange this is. Shaving in Afghanistan with American flag. Wow, very good job. I'll show you a little bit the barber area. There's actually showers here. You have the mosque nearby. You finish, you can come and take a shower and really, really full service here. This is a South Korean drink. It's very trendy here. Looks like everyone's drinking this thing. Apparently very, very healthy, but there's a statement here saying these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. So we don't know if it's true, but it's very tasty. Alright, so this is called the Zohak city or in other words the red city. There used to be actually here a red fortress and there's not much left of it. There used to be 5,000 people living there. There used to be houses actually there. This was in the 12th century. So we're going all the way up to see what's left. It will start raining probably in the next three to five minutes. So I think we need to hurry up. What a place. This is so raw. And I really hope more people come and visit. I guess that's it. Good transition to run away. 
from this place and let's see where we go next because it's raining it's windy and we probably have another 30 minutes of light before the sunset so welcome to the city of the screams why the screams because back in the days king khan from mongolia came here and killed all the people living in this place 4,000 people and you can hear all the way from the top where I am all the screams look how fascinating this is you can see the entire city over there the entire Bamiyan I have seen on the traditional media a lot about this part of Afghanistan and I hope you understand my angle and the reason of coming to Afghanistan because I really want to share more content of the other Afghanistan and I think it's important to know all this and there's one other thing we're doing tomorrow but this will be a surprise because it's something very rare and very unique here in Afghanistan. We're going to talk about that on the next episode. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.